on this beautiful day. Let the wind be our music. Listen to your heart as it beats to the song. Come join in the fun as we all dance along. How are you and your family today, Squirrel? Things are just not, not here, but we manage. Well, I brought you some nuts from my supplies. I was worried you might be run low after such a long winter. Thank you so much, Princess. This is wonderful. And how things go for you, Cow? This is a disaster. What's wrong? I can't find my cobble anywhere, and I late for my band practice, and they say I need more cobble. There's nothing better than a little cobble to get things moving. Oh, I love your cheesy jokes. Here it is. Thank you, thank you. I'm safe. And how are you, friend Hedgehog? No one wants to hug me, but I love hugs. You see, what's wrong with me? Don't worry. Is it better now? Yes, much better. And how are you, friend Owl? I can't see anything. The light today is terrible. I can't see anything. I think I will find some solution. You will? Wow, the world is actually quite beautiful. Thank you, princess. Where did unicorn go? Unicorn, you say? Perhaps I made him disappear. No, I'm right here. Well, now I will make you disappear. Ah, Princess Penelope. What's wrong, Unicorn? It was the wizard again. The word wizard? Yup. What's he up to? He said he wanted to make me disappear. We must find this magician and see what he's up to. But how will we find him? We need someone with a good nose. Ow! Ow! What's up, princess? Friend Wolf, a stranger wanders our woods. Can you sniff him out for us? My nose will never fail you. I knew I could count on you. He's met some fish and old socks. <coughs> I pick up that scent. Let's go. Get me wrong. Everyone loves her. Her family, the people of the country, and the animals too. She is very well liked, but she is unconventional. She refuses to dress like a royal. That's why we are all here. We need her to look good for the upcoming coronation. Her elder sister is to become a queen, and she wants Penelope to look her best for the occasion. Oh, hello, everyone. Did any of you see a weird wizard wandering about? I'm afraid not, Penelope. But while we have you here, we would like you to meet some of our best de designers in the kingdom. It's very nice to meet all of you, but I don't need any new clothes. Of course you do. It's your sister's coronation soon, and she needs you to look your best. But this is my sister's special day. I don't want to stand out or draw attention from her. Then, if you don't want to stand out, you'll need some help. Because right now, you stand out. So we have a beautiful collection of clothes for you. I'm happy with my current clothes. 
Thank you. I don't see how. You can't be serious. These people bothering you want me to eat them. I'll take care of them. Could you be so kind as to continue to hunt for the mean magician? Of course! It was as if she was speaking to the animals. And the animals seemed to understand? Princess, I have nothing against the work here in the woods. You do a lovely job caring for the animals and keeping the forest. But your sister has requested that you dress differently for the coronation. You mean my sister? Wants me to change? She doesn't like me this way? It's just for one day. You can do it. It's a special occasion. Just this once, for your sister. <sighs> Very well. What do I need to do? We just need to take your measurements. I will only wear something I like. I won't make any promises. Here are some designs I worked on with your sister. Oh no, I don't think so. No, no, no. What's wrong with them? How can I climb trees in these dresses? Why would a princess want to climb the trees? How can I swim in the lakes? Are the princesses even allowed to swim? How can I run free in the woods? I've never designed a tree climbing, swimming, running dress before. And you won't, because that's what all these dresses are for. Princess, you must reign your place and submit to your sister's wishes. Submit? I will never submit. We must be supported. We must be empowered. We must be lifted up and never held down. That's what I want for myself and others. <laughs> Quiet! We have your measurements, princess. princess. Prepare yourself. Go! Let's prepare the dress. May I approach your majesty? You may. To who am I speaking? I am El Magico. I wish to speak to you about your princess problem. What do you mean? I apologize for listening, but I couldn't help overhearing. She was quite loud. I have a magic spell that can help with her dress problem. You do? Here's some magic dust that they can sprinkle it on the princess. It will make her love the clothes. <gasps> so easy, huh? Eh? Yes, very easy. And what do you want in return? I'll apply control of the forest. <laughs> I will happily give it to you. It's nothing but a problem to the family. Only Princess Penelope cares anything. Then here's your magic dust. I will prepare the documents that, that will give you rights to the forest. Forest will be mine, and I will destroy it for a shopping village. I'd have shops with hats, shops with food, shops with drinks, shops with dresses, and shops with things that no one needs but wants to buy anyway. <laughs> Oh, I'm Master Princess Penelope! Princess! Princess! What's the matter, friendly unicorn? I found a terrible wizard and he is up to no good. He has an evil plan. He wants to get rid of the forest and build a shopping village. Oh no! What do we do? You can eat him. Yes, eat him. That's a very good idea. How can he eat them? Do you like people? Who? People? Oh, they are not yummy. How do you know? Have you ever eaten people? No, and I'm not going to. So what can we do? 
I can give him a free hug. Terrible man. How can he be so selfish? What can we do about that bully? Let's fight! He said he would have a shop with things people don't want, but buy them anyway. A shop? I hate shopping! That's evil! It is a terrible disaster. No, 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 we can't let this happen. No, we can't, this is our forest. He also made a deal with some person from the castle. Who? That one over there coming this way. I can give him a free hug. Hi! Princess, we've been looking for you. We've managed to discuss. Yes, we do. We hope you've come to your senses. I must ask you about the forest. I heard from the animals. Nonsense, animals do not speak. They do to me. Enough, we must find your address. Papers right here. Do something! But I'm scared! I will do something. So if you have an idea, don't just stand here. Hey! That's mine! No, it's not! The forest belongs to everyone! Yes, this is not your forest, this is our forest! Oh no! He looks mad! Run! She will stay like this forever! More dresses, please! 
I found, found it out to the, to the spell. Give it to Penelope now. No! Don't rip them. What's going on? You were under a terrible magic spell made by the wicked wizard that made you put on all of his dresses. Thank goodness you're all right now. Can I give you a hug? Not yet. I can't put my arms down. We will help. Don't keep them. That's the only way out. We must speak of this at once. I am so sorry, princess. How dare you use magic on me? I was getting desperate. Your sister ordered me to do something about your clothes. I had no choice. You always have a choice. We always have a choice between right and wrong. I can't believe you all are trying to change me into someone I'm not. That's so unfair of you and my sister. Why am I not good enough the way I am? Please forgive me, Your Highness. I forgive you. And I ask you to forgive me. Forgive you? For what? For making your job more difficult. I, I should really speak to my sister more directly. I think she would like that. Let's go, everyone. It's time I spoke to my sister and our future queen. <laughs> Wait, everyone. I'm still stuck under this cow. Oh, did you want me to move? Yes. You have to ask nicely. No, get off. No, not until you speak to me. Kinder words, you must learn some manners. I don't want good manners. Move or I will turn you into the hamburger. What's a hamburger? Help! Help! If you ever find yourself stuck in the middle of the sea, I said my Lord to find you. If you ever find yourself lost in the dark and you can't see, I need a light to guide you. Find out what we're made of when we are called to help our friends in need. You can count on me. Like one, two, three, I'll be there. And I know when I need it, I can count on you. Like four, three, two, you'll be there. Cause that's what friends are supposed to do, oh yeah. Ooh. I know when I need it, I can count on you 